We're so excited to get this e-signature out. That's a white label version specifically for go high level. Uh, uh, all accounts, this works perfectly for agencies. It's beautiful because you can white label it here, right over here in a custom menu, and it works great. So what you do is you go ahead and drag and drop your PDF that you want to work from. You can change this. This is the tag that's going to start the document being sent. Um, this here is going to let them know, and we're so excited to show it. We even left that typo there. So everybody can have a good laugh about that. That'll be fixed tomorrow. Uh, you enter the fields, name, email, document link. This is the document link. Uh, custom field that's added uh, that you're going to be using for the contact. This is the tag that applies when this recipient signs it. Now, if there are no additional recipients, it's going to go ahead and apply this tag document in. You can go ahead and change those if you want, uh, but in this case, we're just going to click next. Here is where you're going to go ahead and you're going to add the standard fields uh, for where it is you want. So here, I just have some extra text fields that I'm going to go ahead and delete. So the name, signer name, I'm going to go ahead and change this, and we're going to change it to uh, zip code. We'll put that there. We'll just go ahead and use that. So what this is, this is field that this is a field that uh, is a custom field. So once you put that in there, that's going to be static. The contact will not be able to edit that. Uh, so if you want, so let's say you have their name or you have a fixed price and you want to be able to put that on the contract, that's where that custom field would come into play. Okay, and the sign place right there. So we're going to go ahead and hit submit. All right, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab the tag. Okay. And I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to apply the tag to this contact. Document start. Give it just a second. All right, so now what we have is the document link. This would be the field that you drop into a workflow. All right, so everything's loaded up. So as you can see here, it's got the name. We're going to enter the text that allows them to edit. It looks like I neglected to delete that field up there, but let's go ahead and sign it. All right, so as you can see, it creates a PNG it overlays over the top, so it's not going to create uh, kind of some white block there that makes it uh, impossible to see. I'm going to go ahead and submit. There we go. Perfect. So as you can see here, loads of fields, looks great. And let's go back, let's check the contact. We're gonna go ahead, refresh the fields, or refresh the page here. We're gonna go back, make sure that she's got all the tags, document sign, document end. And then when we, when we go back, we're gonna take a look at this URL, check the DocuSign, and you should have a signed contract. Hope, uh, hopefully everybody enjoys the tool. Thanks for checking it out.